Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 8.1a of our series on adding and subtracting fractions. Uh, in this presentation, we're going to be looking at how to add and subtract fractions. The type of problems we're going to be going over in this tutorial is depicted here with this particular example. Find the sum of the given fractions, one third plus two fifths. To review the required skill for this lesson, namely finding the LCD, you can go ahead and scan the QR code here or take a look at the links in the description below to refresh your memory. Don't forget we have some practice problems at the end of this tutorial for you to try out to demonstrate mastery of what we are going to be covering. Alrighty, before we get started, let's go over the steps that we're going to be using to um, add and subtract fractions. So first thing you want to do is you want to look at the den denominators, all right? In order to add or subtract fractions, the denominators have to be equal, all right? So um, if the denominators are not equal, you find the LCD. And then step two, you're going to make equivalent fractions with the same denominators using the LCD. You add or subtract the numerators depending on the operation. Uh, you keep the denominators the same, okay? And then you simplify your answer. All right, so the instructions for the examples we are going to be doing are for us to carry out the given operations. Okay, carry out the given operations with the given fraction. So they're going to be addition and subtraction operations in this tutorial that we are going to be carrying out. So the first one is going to be an addition operation. What if you have two over five plus three over five? Bam. All right, let's take a look at a solution to this. Now, um, if you take a look at the example that we are working on, you will notice that the denominators are identical. Okay, so you always inspect the denominators first when you add in and subtract in fractions. So when the, if the denominators are identical, you skip step one and two. No need to find the LCD and make them equivalent fractions with uh, the denominators the same as the LCD, okay? You just jump right to the operation of adding or subtracting, okay? So just something to keep in mind, a little formula for adding fractions with the same denominators adding and subtracting let's say adding a over b plus c over b all right the denominators are the same what you do is you add a numerator and keep the denominator the same okay don't add the denominator that doesn't work all right so in this particular case the denominators are the same so we can just apply this formula here you add the numerator 2 plus 3 and keep the denominator the same, five. All right, two plus three is five. Five over five can be reduced to one. All right, so there goes the answer to question number one. Okay, so for question two, let's say we have the fraction two over three plus one over five. This one's slightly different. You notice that the denominators are different, right? So we're gonna be following all the steps that we outlined earlier. All right, so um, when you're adding fractions with different denominators, what you wanna do first is you wanna make the denominators equal to the LCD of the two fractions, okay? So let's go ahead and find the LCD. of two third and uh, one fifth. This is the video presentation we went over in section 8.0b. Um, and to refresh your memory on that, you can always uh, scan the QR code we showed earlier, or just go to our playlist and watch the video that goes before this. All right, so let's find the LCD of these two numbers. Uh, we're gonna list the start with three. Uh, multiples of three all the way to five, three, one, three, three, two, six, three, three, nine, three, four, twelve, three, five, fifteen. 
multiples of 5 all the way to 3 or until we hit one of the numbers here 515 no 5 5 to 10 5 3 15 we have a match so we have the smallest common multiple of 3 and 5 is the LCD of the number of the fractions that have these two as their denominators okay so that's your LCD right there okay so now the goal is to change these two denominators into 15 so let's put it down here LCD is 15 so what do we multiply to third by to make it an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 15 uh, you multiply by 5 right because 3 times 5 is 15 always start with a denominator like we did in the previous presentation 1 over 5 what do you multiply 5 by to get 15 3 so you do exactly the same thing to the top all right remember we're creating equivalent fractions so another form of writing 2 3rd is 10 over 15 and another way of writing 1 5th is 3 over 15. The difference here is that the denominators are equal to the LCD of the two fractions. Now we can apply the formula we talked about earlier. When the denominators are the same, you just add the numerator and keep the denominator the same. Okay, so 10 plus thir 3 is 13 and keep the denominator 15. Ladies and gentlemen, there goes your final answer. All right, we're going to be going over one more example, and then we'll give you some practice problems to try out. So for question number three, we're going to do a difference or subtraction example. Let's say you have to find the difference between 7 over 4 and 3 over 7. All right, let's take a look at this. This one, you can clearly see that the denominators are different, so we're going to I use the LCD computation route to solve this particular one, just like we did with question number two. So uh, to do this example, we're going to have to find the LCD of these two fractions. So find the LCD of 7 over 4 and 3 over 7. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. So let's make our chart of multiples for 7 and 4. That will help us to see what the LCD is. All right, because the LCM of the denominators is the LCD of the fractions, right? Okay, so let's start with the smaller of the two, as usual, which is 4. Multiples of 4 all the way to the second number of 7, so 414, 428, 4312, 4416, 4520, 4624, 4728. 7, multiples of 7 all the way to uh, 4 or until we can hit a number on the list. 7, 1, 7, 7, 2, 14, 7, 3, 21, 7, 428 ladies and gentlemen we have a match this right here is the LCD the LCM of these two numbers is the LCD of the fractions that have them as their denominator so the LCD is 28 okay so now we need to change these two fractions into equivalent fractions with their denominators equal to 28 so let's start with 7 over 4 what do you multiply 4 by to get 28? 4 times 7, right? So you multiply the numerator by the same value. That will give us an equivalent fraction for 7 over 4, which is 49 over 28. Remember how to add multiply fractions, sorry. You multiply the top and the bottom. 3 over 7 into an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 28. What do you multiply 7 by to get 28? 7 times 4, right? Same with the numerator. Multiply the top. 3 times 4 is 12. 7 times 4 is 28. Now the denominators are the same. We can now apply the formula to carry out the um, difference, subtraction operation. 
subtract the numerator and you keep the denominator the same okay remember this is different from multiplying or dividing when you're adding and subtracting you keep the denominators make them the same first and then keep them okay all right so what is 49 minus 12 49 minus 12 is 37 37 over 28 okay so this is the improper fractions form of our result let's also write it as a mixed number all right put down your long division bar top dog 37 goes in the dog house 28 divided by 37 goes there one one times 28 is 28 subtract and left with nine all right so another way to write this improper fraction in mixed number form is one whole number uh, 9 over the divisor which is 28 okay so our answer for this problem is um, 37 over 28 or 1 9 over 28 so there you have it now it's uh, your turn to do some practice problems Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so here are three practice problems that we'll like you to try out. So go ahead and pause the video presentation at this time and try out these questions. When you're done, click the playback button and we're going to reveal what the correct answers are. Welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try the three practice problems. Here are the correct answers. Go ahead and check your work. So how well did you do? Let us know how well you did in the comment section below. If you did well, go ahead and destroy that like button for us. If you have any questions, just specify it in the comment section and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Don't forget to support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with your friends. Um, tons of support resources can be found by either scanning the QR code, visiting our website, or um, taking a look at the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.